You are listening to The Tracy L. Clark Show with me, Tracy L., the founder of The Body Regeneration Method. And I am here to empower you and teach you how to connect to the God consciousness like you've never connected before. Tune in every Tuesday, 8 a.m. Pacific, right here on Transformation Talk Radio, where I combine science, spirituality, and ministry to help you unlock the secrets within so you can finally let go of what's holding you back. If you are truly ready to break free and bring in the new and stop wasting your time, join me and together let's unlock your superpowers so you can live your extraordinary life. It's so good to be back. I was on a short hiatus, but I missed you all. I was just saying to my producer, Zach, that it's good to take a break, but you always miss each other too. So Maggie has also joined me. She keeps pawing on the computer. As you know, my cats are are good, good parts of my day. And so I do trust and hope that all of you had an incredible summer so far, given the circumstances that have been going on. And I know we all have to make shift, but that's okay. You know, change is, is amazing. And it's, it can be really, if you change your perspective and you go within and look at the change, it's a really big blessing, even though change usually means turmoil, upheaval. And well, it's all, as we say, we're just getting going. So you may as well sit back, enjoy the ride and not get too frustrated we have so many things to share with you. I know today is a call-in day, 1-800-930-2819. Our phones, uh, Zach has been telling me, is ringing like crazy. So we will get to you in a minute. What I want to talk about, though, today, I was I was sitting with you know God, and I was just kind of going, okay, what, what do I want to share today? And what came up was perfection and the spirit of perfection and observation with perfection And how it can really, you know, if you are the observer or doing it within your own life, how it can actually affect you and hold you back from what you want to create, what you want to do. And I was, I was sitting here and sometimes people ask me, why do you talk so fast? It's because I channel quickly like that. So when the information comes, we talk quickly, but that's what you want. (laughs) You want it quick because we're in a fast moving world. We're not in a world that's moving slow. (laughs) So I was reminded of when I was 19, so many, many, many years ago, yes, 30 years ago, and I had moved across the country. I was a a child that you couldn't tell me what to do. I always sort of beat to my own drum, and that meant getting into more trouble sometimes than, you know, you wanted to. And that came from a lot of fears, a lot of frustrations, and a lot of lack in my life and searching, searching, searching. And I had moved across the country and I had been in this city, which I would call in Canada, one of the most disgusting cities in Canada. (laughs) You would not ever go there for any reason. But it was where I ended up at that point. And, you know, when you're running away, I was a runner. I would run away from my family, run away. And I landed and I think I had about $10 in my pocket. And I had hair down to my butt because I couldn't afford a haircut. And I was on my way for a job interview. So I found what was the nicest outfit I had. And before I left, I had gone to this store, a lady I knew, and she gave me a really good deal so I could buy that one nice outfit because I said I'd have to look for a job when I landed. So I'm on my way for this interview. And as I'm walking down the street, this gentleman literally in front of me, some 19, comes in front of me and he's like, you're just with your perfect hair and your perfect clothes and your, your riches. And he just starts screaming and screaming. So of course I'm already terrified. Now I'm more terrified and I'm in this city that's absolutely gross and going, what did I do? But I'm going to dig my heels in. And it was really interesting because, you know, looking back where you may have had stuff like this, the perception based on how I showed up. So I had long hair, blonde hair, which he was yelling at me for because I couldn't afford a haircut. And I was looking for a job in a place I didn't know anybody, (laughs) you know, it was like, so just by an image that startled him and then his anger, his frustration came pouring out at me. And how many times have you maybe looked at somebody or say, oh, you know, their life is so perfect. What's wrong with me? The reality is, and I want to thank the hand of God for shifting this for you, is that You are already perfect. Your life is exactly how you designed it. Everything that is happening, whether you like it or not, us being in this world together, connected, 
with the virus and what is happening is perfect. It is meant to be, or you would not be here. So it's the perceptions that it's time to start to change and understand my life is perfect because I created it. So often what happens is people will look at other people and you probably had this happen and you're getting judged for things and your life, how you design it is always perfect for you because you're the designer of it, nobody else. And then when something doesn't go right, what happens often is people will project their anger and they'll project that out at somebody else because they're frustrated with something in their life that hasn't shifted or hasn't changed or hasn't moved forward. But we can't, like the man who accosted me on the street, you can't go, you know, verbal diarrhea and just throw up on somebody because you have an image in your brain or a perception. So think about where that's been done to you because you're like, I am just getting through my life moving. If I say to my life that my life for me is perfect because I came to the resolution, it might not be somebody else looking in would say, I don't want that. And that is cool. So when I come in and I look in my world, I say, yeah, it is perfect for me because I know where I was before. And every day as it gets better and things are flowing and they're moving, like if I, I wish, you know, take forever, all the things that have unfolded in the last couple of weeks, like we're in a massive amount of manifestation and they just keep growing and growing. But what's also happening is the judgments of what you perceive to be perfect in your life will keep you from manifesting. It'll keep you so in the brain and so in the mental space and the psychological space that you will not be able to create and you'll find more frustration. You're hitting the walls. It's like you feel blocked, like those roads aren't opening for you. And a lot of times you can realize you're not even doing it. You, like, you're just doing it on autopilot saying, I want what they have. And if you look in North America, especially in North America, I know people from all over the world listen. If you look, especially in North America, there's a conditioning, right? Like you want to have this, you need a million followers or you need to have, you know, the big house or the big cars. Or the, if that's what you desire, then that's okay. But don't get mad if somebody else has that. Because what also, when you get triggered of what you perceive somebody else of having or perfect is just an energy that you can take. And then you start to redesign and mold. Now, when you redesign and mold your life, you really got to look at your life and say, what really needs to go? What really needs to go? What do you need to stop doing? So a lot of times when we start to move energy and we're looking at all the bodies that we have, it's very easy to say, well, I didn't get what I wanted at this time and get mad or this hasn't come out in my outcome and get angry. And what happens is that keeps you in the mental, it keeps you in the psychological and it keeps you from moving forward and it keeps you from recreating and bringing in new things into your life. So just think about for a minute, where have you looked and made a judgment at somebody else thinking their world is perfect so something was wrong with you? Where have you made that judgment? And you're like, something is wrong with me. Look at that, 1111. Thank you, God. Let's start to remove that. So just feel where you feel it in your body. And just sort of gauge that on one to 10. Just gauge that for a minute. 10 being yucky, one being, there's not much there. And let's start to, thank you, God. I'm going to start to remove the accumulation of energy that has kept you locked up in comparison and judgment. What also happens, and I'm going to just start to move, so feel the body get a little bit lighter. What also happens when this energy lifts up off of you, you can find resistance and struggle. So very normal. So when we look in the world right now, as everything is starting to crater in, everything's going to start to dissolve and liquefy like big time. And if you've heard me talk about this on any of my classes or my seminars, I talked a lot about what's happening between now 
and the next four years. And we've been talking about, I talked about it like five, six years ago. And it's all happening, giving you tools, giving you suggestions. The people that actually followed through with that, that weren't afraid, afraid of holding on to this old. And this old space of what we know can be deemed as perfect. And it is. But now what if you could walk into something better? What if you could now embrace a new level of who you are? Just feel what that would be. Thank you, God, to embrace a new level. So quite often, we think we've looked at every door and we've opened every door, but we haven't. And I'm also seeing a lot of people right now that are sliding backwards rather than moving forwards. And the reason they're sliding backwards and you don't want to get caught in this is because there's a big part of the population that is stuck in wanting to go backwards, wanting to be in the old way, the old way of moving energy, the old way of thinking, the old way of, you know, transporting ourselves, the old way of communicating with each other. These are all changing so we can come into better versions of us and better version of the whole world. So imagine this, like to be able to go to a better place. I was watching the show the other day on, on Netflix and, um, it was brilliant because it confirmed a lot of what we always talk about, that if the powers to be wanted you to have a better world, there are many places that have figured out, you know, renewable energy and things around proper water and not over, you know, not modifying our food and, you know, all of these things, but that hasn't happened. So what if we could now create an energy of saying we are perfect beings that are here for a reason. So we can open those doors to bring in more of this beautiful, beautiful, you know, technology and these beautiful ways of being so we can all have a better life, a better space, right? This is what's so important. And we're in this energy. So at the second part of this year, it's going to feel like things are sliding backwards, but all they're doing is moving out the old so the new can come in. So this is why I said, when you look at the spirit of perfection, a lot of times you could hold yourself back and you won't start that job or you won't go and jump into that relationship or you won't make the changes until I'm not going to do this until this happens, which then keeps you locked up because you have to, you're never going to get it perfect in your eyes, but it's perfect just by you showing up. It's perfect by just being who you are. And if that doesn't resonate for someone, that is okay. Their journey will go on their way. Your journey will go on your way. And then things will start to lift up. The other thing right now is it's really important to look around and say, what needs to come off my plate or who needs to be released or what boundaries need to be put in place in a loving and kind way? When you do that in a loving, kind way, you'll start to see things rapidly right now change in your world. I can't even count how many incredible, I just did another big purge like that in my own space and the things that have been flooding in, I just, I can't keep up with them. They're beautiful. And I'm every day. Thank you, God. You also, when you release the spirit of perfection, I want you guys to have this. This is why I'm sharing with this, this with you. When you release the spirit of perfection and you understand you're already perfect, how it is. And you start to be grateful beyond anything when you feel it in your heart and you're not getting caught up in what's going on out here with masks and social distancing, all that stuff. And you just keep moving through the energy will flow. So you also have to remember right now, the world is trying to keep you distracted so you won't embrace what's new and coming. And it's, there's going to be a lot of distractions, a lot. So if you want on, I will say too, on July 24th, we're doing a two hour course and it's on understanding the energy behind the mask, social distancing, vaccinations, marks of the beast, things you can do, energy tools you can use, things that you can shift. And then also intuition. So you can make it through these, these next four years. I'll also be talking a lot about this 90 year reset that we go through naturally as humanity, the different stages, got some cool stuff to share. So if you want to do that, you can check it out on the Facebook. I believe it's on the Facebook and it's also, you can email us at contact at tracealclark.com. It's, and you can get a replay, but I'm, I'm really saying it's time because I'm going to tell you, we're just, we're getting going on every front. So it is time to let go of perfection, time to look at what is not sitting right that you're ready to move through 
let go of the past, let go of the old and be ready to jump into who you are. So if you're ready for that, you're like, thank you, God. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. All right. Um, Zach, we're going to go to the phone lines and we're going to go to Jen first. All right. We have Jen in Toronto. Jen, you're live on the Tracy O'Clark show. Hi, Jen. Oh, hello? Jen, are you there? Oh, did we... Did we lose her? Hello? Not sure we might have. Did we lose her there? Okay, we'll go to... We'll just put her on hold and see if she comes back, and we'll go to Madura. All right. Madura from Calgary. You were live on the Tracy L. Clark Show. Hi, Madura. Hi, how are you? Very good. What's your question today? So the question I have is my foot on my left or my, yeah, my left foot has been kind of hurting for yep. the last little while. So I'm curious what, what energy might be stuck there. Yeah, you actually have a new level of stability and you can see balance coming in. So with all the new spaces that have shown up and the uh, new boundaries you put in place in love, and you've done this very, very lovingly, that you can see the body's actually recalibrating. There's also, with that recalibration, I really like this actually, there's some new energy wanting to come in for you in terms of how you're ready to redesign and take that whole nother level with how you show up in the world. So that's your career. That's as a wife, um, your motherhood, you seem to got that down pat. So as in relationship and then also with business, there's a few new things that want to come in. And so let me just actually, I'll reset the, the grids from the ankle bone from one to the other. Thank you, God. And then I'll actually open and we'll start to command those exit points to open up more. So the energy of what is new that's coming into your life can be strong. The stability can come in strong because it looks like you're going to be hitting a point here where you're going to be able to make, you're going to have to make a lot of decisions. They're not heavy or bad decisions. It's like creating new choices. So there was a little bit of resistance of creating the new choices only because you're letting go of old choices, old ways of being, old ways of interacting with people that you know are done. So you're you're getting a lot more solid on your footing and your stability. How does that feel when I actually start to recalibrate that? It feels better. Yeah, it definitely feels better. I think there was a lot of, and I, I'm sure the energy is kind of crazy right now, but there's a lot of like panic energy. Yeah. Oh yeah. There is on the world. And you know, it's, it's interesting you bring that up because I'm unfortunately or fortunately, as long as we know it's coming, we don't have to get caught into it. It's going to be more panic, um, Mm -hmm. over the next 12 months for sure, for sure. But you don't have to be caught in it that you can observe. So let me strengthen that for you to be the observer there. You can be the catalyst to say, Hey guys, I know you see that, but there are so many opportunities and solutions. Let's focus on those. How does that feel when I say that? Because there's a little bit of, of heaviness in the solar plexus all move out. Yeah, it's uh, it's feeling a slightly bit better. It's just in the mornings I find kind of when I wake up that I'm like, okay, I need to ground because there's this weird yeah. panic. And I'm like, I don't know where this energy is coming from. Yeah, it's actually sure not yours, but you can show up with your clients in that way of also reassuring them that, if we stay together and keep moving into the direction of the creation and the possibilities, then things will start to feel better. They'll look better and you don't have to get caught up in what's happening in the world so much. So let me just move this anxiety. So I'm going to move that accumulation. So remember anxiety is the, like your brain trying to figure out and get, create what that future is, right? Whereas the brain's not really any help because we can get better than that. We want to create with spirit. So let me start to remove other people's energy. And it also looks like when you wake up in the morning, just remove the accumulation of energy that is not yours. And we'll do anything also that picks up in the middle of the night. Because when we sleep, we also pick up really random energies in the world as we're all connected and we're all cleaning, right? So... Let me remove this. How does that feel now? Kind of, yeah, it's lifting, definitely. It's lifting? Okay. Definitely yeah. So with, with your work, um, you're going to, the reason I say a lot of change, you can see 
and I'll strengthen this. So you can let me know how this feels. Then now you're going to be moving more to like um, a different kind of a leader role where you will be making sure they feel really okay. Like, it's sort of, they I keep seeing yeah, this image, like there's a bunch of people in a little raft boat and you're like the captain. So don't forget, <laughs> it's like you're steering the boat. And as long as you keep steering the boat, they're going to be okay. Does that make sense? Yeah, I, I got, yeah, I got chills out of that because I'm actually launching my rebrand of my website and it's really talking to doing the work with men and, and yes. really allowing them to actually ask for the help they require so that they can have every part of their like the four pillars of themselves kind of come together yes. in a solid foundation. Yeah. And you know, this is a big topic right now where, and I'll just confirm this. I was on a conference last week and with men saying, you know, how do I move through into my, my mask and my family? Like guys are asking more of these questions, right? And, and you can just help them to show up to be who they are truthfully and just keep doing their work and everything else will come into alignment. And I like that that's what you're doing. So you are in that right space, right time where men are like, okay, I'm kind of done with that old paradigm of uh, just a worker, right? Or I can't talk about how I feel or, you know, it's, it's over now. Like that's part of what's over. So you are in right time. And yeah, I just keep seeing it. it's like a boat with all these people and you're at the front. <laughs> it's like, don't forget you're at the yeah. front. Yeah. Does that feel a lot lighter? Yes. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, one of the things you better. can do, you can do too is just it looks like just when you get up in the morning it's like my road is open i'm on a new path thank you god and just keep keep walking through on the path keep the debris off so if you do some visualizations just make sure if you see a road like just ask that debris to go so those will be extra energies that don't serve you that aren't good for you or were in the past because you don't have to look at them you don't have to know who they are just make sure the road's clean okay awesome thank you so much you're welcome, sweetheart. Yeah, I know there's so much energy that is right now that's shifting and moving like that in the world. And quite often while we do sleep, they're at a great, it's a, something you have to understand is when we do sleep, you will pick up energy from all over, like your neighbors, the other side of the world. You probably notice your dreams are off the charts right now, or you're, you know, dreaming of people you haven't dreamed of in a long time, or perhaps you're just walking down the street. I get this a lot and I'll have a random thought, you know, from when I was really small and I'm like, oh my gosh. And it's just your body is cleaning. Your body right now is creating more space energetically to be able to integrate the new, to be able to vibrate. And it's hard right now too as well. So please be kind to yourself to say, is that new really coming? Although we know it is, and it's going to take a while to get there. We need to enjoy that time and that space that we're in right now as we're processing. So let's just like, I would like to actually do another adjustment for all of you that are listening or whenever you listen so that we can start to remove that accumulation of that anxiety out of the field. A lot of people are feeling anxious or depressed right now. You may have heard me talk about this many, many times before. So, and I just mentioned it with Madura that the anxiety is just your brain trying to figure out what future is. Well, don't do that because it's going to create so much pressure and stress on you. You're going to create blocks and resistance to what you want to move through. And if the depression is looking at the past saying, I, you know, I don't know what to do with all this luggage, I'm going to carry it with me. And that can create a heaviness also in your field where you don't want to get out of bed. And I, I know I was there with you if that's how you're feeling, but this is a place of getting up out of bed and saying, you know what? I have a choice today. Thank you, God. Thank you, God, for removing the spirit of that depression and everything that goes with it. And then start to look at the things of what are the choices you can make differently today? You know, I find that this is really interesting that if you show up with a smile on your face, you can all of a sudden start to change your energy. You've all done that, right? You've been on a, a maybe a Zoom call. Zoom's so big right now. People tell me this all the time, but get on a Zoom call and people are like, mm, I'm just going to be grumpy. That energy and that space or that frown will affect everybody else on. But you'll notice as soon as if you're on something, and Zoom's great to learn this with people, if you're all smiling and you're laughing or you're on a video and you're having a great time, you see you can change the energy. So even if you're on your own, that's a great way to see how you can affect other people. But even if you're on your own, you're on your own, all you need to do is just get up and smile. 
just smile and tell yourself how amazing, perfect you are and how much you love yourself. So I know we have to take a quick break. We're going to come back and see if we can get Jen back on the line when we take a break. But definitely if you're on our Facebook or on Leash Round, the the class this Friday, uh, July 24th, it's from 10 Eastern to 12 Eastern time. We're going to be talking about masks, social distancing, the mark of the bees, the vaccination, how you can shift, what you can do, what's unfolding the five stages over the next, uh, this reset that we're in on a globally, economically in history, how you can walk through it, how you can lift yourself and your family and loved ones up. If you can't find the link, you can always email us at contact at tracyalclark.com, but it's going to be a lot of fun. And yes, you get a replay. So lots of tools, lots of fun because yeah, we want to be prepared. We want to be prepared. And I know many of you have been prepared because we've been talking about this for five years. So thank you for your testimonials and your incredible, incredible you of showing up and being so amazing. So we're going to take a quick break and we're going to come back with Jen right after this. Are you done being afraid to jump into the life that's waiting for you? Are you ready for a real shift? I invite you to tune in every Tuesday with me, Tracy L, on the Tracy L. Clark Show, where we will teach you how to live your extraordinary life. At 8 a.m. Pacific on Transformation Talk Radio, where I will provide the tools and the steps needed to help you transcend perceived limitations and move forward with an extraordinary life. For more information, visit me at TracyLClark.com. Your favorite Transformation Talk radio shows are now on Spotify. Simply search out your favorite host or show by name, tap the subscribe button, and boom. With over 150 million active monthly users on Spotify, Transformation Talk radio is thrilled to expand our reach so you never have to miss an episode. Well, what the heck are you waiting for? Log into Spotify and subscribe now. Are you ready to shift your life into overdrive and stop wasting your time? If so, then I want to invite you right now to the Body Regeneration Online Academy with me, Tracy L. In a world filled with so much information, you can get overloaded and confused, left feeling like you've tried everything and still no results. If this is you, then this platform is for you to help you step into your power, your intuition, and gain clarity. You will learn simple tools that you can use as you walk down the street. And I will teach you how to grow a stronger connection to the God consciousness. Imagine having me as your coach, shifting you, uplifting you, empowering you every week. And most of all, helping you stay connected so you can navigate your life's journey with ease and grace. Nothing will be able to get in your way. Plus, you will have a community filled with souls just like you to pick you up when you fall down and support you on your wins. No one can go this journey alone. If you are ready for your live activations, check me out at tracylclark.com and join the TLC Body Regeneration Online Academy now. Imagine starting your week off with a teaching, a clearing, and an activation direct from the God consciousness. If you would like to feel more in charge of your week ahead, then I personally invite you to join me, Tracy L. Clark, for our monthly Soul Sunday non-denominational service at 11 a.m. Eastern Time, online or in person. All donations for this event go to the TLC Initiative Fund to help those in need. Sign up now at tracylclark.com and let's connect together in the glory realm. Yeah, yippee skippy to that, baby. We're not done yet. Some of us are out here to educate and inspire. This year, 2020, is the year we got to show me the money in the cash flow. I'm Dr. Pat. This is the Dr. Pat Show. This is Talk Radio to Thrive By. Visit the drpatshow.com. Step into your highest potential and tune into embodying your higher self. Tools for Conscious Living with Michelle Chempaka. You can listen on transformationtalkradio.com or subscribe on your favorite podcast platform. Michelle is an energy healer, intuitive, and shamanic practitioner dedicated to helping you heal and transform your life. 
For more information about sessions, coaching, and upcoming workshops and retreats, visit spiritweaverjourneys.com. Did you put your smile on? I hope you did. Put your smile on because today's a great day if you woke up and we have to start looking at it that way because that's how we get through to the other side. All right, Zach, do we have uh, Jen? Do we want to see if she's on the line still? Let's try again. Jen from Toronto. You're live on the Tracy L. Clark Show. Hi, Jen. Maybe we lost her again. No, no, no. I can't hear her. Oh, there you are. I can hardly hear, but... We can hear you. Zach can interpret. (laughs) You're clear. Oh, my gosh. I can hardly hear you, but let me um, just say I'm going to ask you today, Tracy, if you could give a special prayer for me for um, stress. Yeah. I am heading back into work in about a month, and I'm not as organized as I would like before I head back into that sphere because as um, I'm trying to set up some systems so that when once I return to work is it is with ease and grace but I'm experiencing a little bit of stress now mm-hmm. so I don't know if you could wave your magic wand <laughs> and <send those laughs> thank you God <laughs> got to wave the wand the angels of organization and also angels of healing, because I really don't want my experience to come back. Yeah, that actually, your experience is over, so I'm actually really happy with that. The experience looks good. So now work, you're working 100% from home when you go back? Yes, I am, for the time being. Okay, so that's the key to stretch that out, because it looks like, when I align you to the work all from home, so we have to align routine. So once you're in the routine, you're going to actually have more time than you did before. So this is good. Now, you're not going to fill the extra time, though, with extra work. They still only get what they've hired you for. So hang on. Oh. Yeah. And I actually, so systems, so there are some things within the home that look like could be moved around. So the key is to make sure your workplace is your special workplace. Like nothing gets moved. It's not the kitchen table. Okay. So hang on a sec. (laughs) So if we create a little space, that's just your workspace where everything can stay there. It looks like we can bring the stress out of the body. And this is actually way better for you than working in the office. So that's very good. On. Okay. And I'm just going to pull down the nervous systems. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove the accumulation of information you had from when you were at work. So what we're going to, we're going to remove that. It's like deleting that file. Thank you, God. Overriding and strengthening you to a new way, a new perception. So the body sees that this is actually easier than getting in your car, going there, having to mix with everybody, phone. And then it's just, I'm going to show it a new way here. When you feel that in your body, how does that feel now, knowing there's a new way? Especially my tummy feels a little bit lighter. Good. Okay. Yeah. There's actually, and there's some, it's interesting. I'm going to call them four pillars of support. So as we were like shifting four, I'd say they're like, they're your guides. So your angels, you're who people you like to talk to, but there's four, four on like two in front and two behind. So there's a lot more extra support. And there's also, there's a various, there's also a lot of people that seem to be around you more so than ever that have not been on this earth for a long time. So that's good. So hang on. I like that because what that shows is that they're also going to make sure you're in your nice little bubble, especially going back to work. So this is good. Yeah, that space is going to be key to create the space. Do you have a place in the home where you say, I want to create this space here because that would work well for me while I'm at work? I'm thinking about about a spot in the basement, but then... 
That's okay, actually. And that looks fine. That looks fine. Okay, okay. so I'm gonna, I'm going to align that, and then I'm going to strengthen that so that gets set up, and it's perfect, and you have everything that you require, so you don't have to be stressed. It's just I get up, I go to the basement, go to my job, come, I'm done, have my lunch, have my whatever. And you know what? It also just see you look like you're kind of on your deck or something, having your little your drink, your tea, whatever you like. It's like, oh, I can take a few minutes of a breather. So I like that because it actually looks like less stress than you've ever had before while you were at work. Does it feel better? Yeah. Yeah. Good job. Well done. All right. Keep me posted, okay? Okay. Thank you so much. Thank you always. Lots of love. Lots of love. Have an incredible day. So sweet. All right. We have Evelyn. Is that Zach? Yes. Evelyn from Toronto. You're live on the Tracy L. Clark Show. Hi, Evelyn. Evelyn, are you there? Yep. Hello. Hi, Tracy. Hi. Well, you know if you were there. <laughs> it's a pleasure to hear your voice. You too. What's your question today? So I am... Um... Since COVID started, I think I put myself in a bit of a funk, and I gave myself a bunch of different excuses. So ironically, uh, the perfectionist comment that you made earlier today was was actually very, uh, I think, fitting for me. But I believe I am ready to move forward to manifest and create my clientele. Um, yeah. So my question to you is, would you mind shifting me towards um, an abundance of finances as well as success in my business. Yeah, so we want to open the roads. Thank you, God. So what I'm going to do is remove um, some old paradigms, thought processes. Seems to be theme today here. Hang on a second. Around what you thought and how you thought you would create um, clients and business. So we're going to actually readjust that for you. Hang on a second. So action steps show up strong for you. So it looks like you've been thinking about what can I do every day, like into my business to create something new. You looks like you've been in that space now for the last little while. Is that correct? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So I'm just going to strengthen that for you so we can open that up to bring in what, what is the number of clients that you would be comfortable with a week? Um, my goal is between five to eight, so that way I can dedicate myself fully yeah. and yep. still give what I need to give. No, that's perfect. Okay, so let's align. So five to eight. So I'm going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We're going to actually put like, thank you, God. We'll put like the open, the big open sign. And don't worry, I'll remove COVID did that for a lot of people and they're going to continue to make those excuses. So good for you for noticing that because there's so many, when I'm going to push you out that door, there's a lot of incredible things happening and there's a lot of new opportunities that are coming out of this. And so that's where I want to turn you a bit to be really strong. Think you got to really see those opportunities, embrace them, collaborate, you know, get with people that you know are in that space. So because it's interesting when we all come together to move through, this has been a space where so many people have felt that if they do their business, they do it on their own. And that, that doesn't always work. Right. So there's overflow, there's collaboration. There's a whole bunch of this stuff coming in for you that I'll align, which then helps you. Cause then you start to prosper. Then you can help more people. Then you can do more things. So let me just open this for you a little bit more. And we want to keep you in that direction of everybody that's creating and helping each other and uplifting versus the people that decided to just watch Netflix for the last five months. So I don't know. Mm-hmm. feels like it's been since January. So, all right. So let's adjust that. I'm going to open up the power zone. So that is the reproductive area. I'm just going to command the lumbar vertebra to move just a slightly, a little bit more. So the power zone opens. How does that feel in your body now when you tune into it? When you think about now moving forward, I have a little step to make each day. Uh, To be honest, it straightens my spine. Good. Yeah, that's what we want. Yeah. So I love this because we get to get you now into a place where you can actually move into the next level and the next layer. So very good. So it really shows every day, at least an hour a day, minimum like in towards your business, whether it's connecting with people, like that's outside of your clients, right? So 
that's where we want to make sure that you're really engaging however that looks for you, at least an hour a day. It shows one to two hours is really strong for you right now. Perfect. Thank you. Oh, um, yeah, and, and let, let us know how you're making out there because there is a lot of things changing right now. So lots of new doors opening, so you may as well walk on through them, okay? <laughs> Absolutely. Thank you. Love it. Have a great day and keep me posted. Yeah, well done. Well. Lots of love. Okay, we have uh, Malen on the phone. Is that right, Zach? Yes, Malin from Toronto. Hi, Malin. Oh, hi, Tracy. How are you today? I'm fabulous. What's your question today? Perfect. Okay, my question is, this has come up in the last 72 hours is for me, and it's caused a bit of anger. One sure. is being patted on the head. I don't like it. I find it very demeaning. And this is where two people have done this. And How did you on the, the head? was... Pardon? They patted you on the head? Yeah, as if I was a dog. And oh, this gee. was, uh, this took me back to the Key West situation. It was those people involved in the Key West. Mm-hmm. And a lot of things came up. You seem to be breaking up, Tracy. Hello? Hello, I can hear you. Yeah. Oh, okay. Can hear you, Ben. And uh, the other thing is, this particular person ended up um, offering me chocolate and my intuition came in and the chocolate had substance in it and I denied the chocolate. But if we could clear where we've been given something and there's something else inside and it doesn't yeah, well, we, well, I want to clear so where there is a trickery energy and then they're trying to make you feel less than anyone that's made you feel less than uh, that is a really demeaning energy. I, I, I will say, I know someone did that once to my boyfriend. You don't do that to a Greek man <laughs> either. You don't do that to anyone, but you want to see a Greek turn around on you really fast. It's not, it, it is, it makes you feel like a child. It'll make you feel less than it'll make someone people do that when they also want to, um, try to overpower you, right, in some sense. So I'll remove the accumulation of energy, now I'm burning up, where you've had, thank you God, where there's been situations where people have tried to overpower you, make you feel less than. What I love here, though, is what I'm, I'm going to remove the trickery energy, which is huge right now, the manipulation energy, the, the misinterpretation energy. It's crazy right now, so we'll remove that, thank you God. But what I love is that you caught it. You knew intuitively that something wasn't right. So I'm just going to start yeah. to remove this. And I'm, I've got to actually strengthen you to see that you got that. Can you feel how strong that energy is that you actually got that right? Yeah. Yeah, good job. Okay, so let's remove the trickery, the trickery energy because that's sitting in your solar plexus. Has your stomach felt more off in the last little bit? as soon as I got on the call. <laughs> yeah, okay, no worries. Let's, let's start to remove that. I'll put some sap. Thank you, God. We'll just allow some energy to go through the small and large intestines. We'll strengthen the system. And what I'm going to do is do, um, we'll also clean up the brain a little bit because when the stomach goes off like that, if you guys have, um, you know, if you're good functional medicine doctors and stuff, they'll tell you to have that good gut health, get the brain clear. But you also got to remove the emotions even though you've removed and you've done your food and done a good job. We also want to remove the emotion behind it because they also go together so the brain can be strong clear focus and the intuition can increase how does that feel now it feels really good actually yeah good job proud of you well done so put a smile on your face and say yes i got that i intuitively picked it up and i was right there's a big smile thank you tracy appreciate it (laughs) you're welcome have an incredible day you know what I, i i'm really excited i hope you guys two things i don't know i'll say this um I actually went through, and I've mentioned this before, as getting my reverendship, my non-denominational reverendship. Now people, they call me Reverend T instead of Reverend Tracy. So if you see that sometimes, but you can call me whatever you like. Just not bad words. (laughs) But Reverend T. Um, So it's been nice to get that done. I really want to invite you, though, to next week's show. I have a guest, Peter Hansen. He is... A, a great story, a channeler, and he connects with angels. And during this time, I'm so excited he's agreed to join us. Why? Because there's so many 
beings from the unseen realm that so many people discount. And during this time, we need to not discount them. I had um, received some beautiful messages. I'm very close to my grandfather who, uh, on the other side, who died when I was 18. And the amount of signs and symbols, and I had a beautiful soul just had mentioned some things about him that was like, again, confirmation. He was there. Uh, the angels that are there that are helping you. And people say, oh, that's kind of fairy or air. It's not. It's really not. And during this time, when I say it is time now to get right with the God of your understanding, people say to me, why did you want to choose to become a reverend? Is it because the lines of religion have hurt so many people? And it's time we create an environment that is love and understanding. And to see that we all may have our differences, but we can still love each other and we can still move through that. And in the world right now, Zach and I were talking about this on the break, you know, this is a world where people want to be so right. You know, you got that. I got, I get stuff like that in my inbox too, is I'm right, I'm right, I'm right. That is enemy spirit because here's the thing. When you really come from love and understanding, we really want to be there. We need to understand why somebody feels that way and say, I get that or I hear that. You don't need to agree, but we need to understand and come to a creative solution, come to a place. And in a world that is changing so much right now, it's so important that we're able to look at each other and say, what can we do to make a difference? Not just my way, my way. You're bad if you say this or you're bad if you say that. We got to stop throwing stones at each other. It's time to stop fighting, guys. And it's time to come back to that love. And that's why I say it's so important to get right with the God of your understanding and understand you have angelic teams and understand you have your loved ones that are there with you. Watch for the signs, watch for the wonders, see the miracles that are unfolding because it's easy to look at the other. It's easy to be in anger and bitterness and mask it all behind. Oh, here I am. But if we could come to that place, and this is why I'm so excited Peter's joining us because if we can come to that place, we can come with a little bit more of something to hold on to. And people ask me, what was it that helped me get through my darkest days? It was when I was able, and I've had a lot of dark nights of the soul. It was when I was able to fully grasp the connection to the God of my understanding, the Christ consciousness, pulling that through and all the different teachings coming together and taking the best of everything and saying, you know what? that we don't have to isolate, we don't have to have rules, we don't have to have regulations, but we can come together in that love and understand each other. And the quicker we all get to that place and know that there is a group behind me, I'm not alone. How many times have you felt alone, but you're actually not alone? You're never alone. There is so much in the unseen realm that's working for you each and every day. And you need to ask them and communicate with them. So I really hope you'll join us next week and this beautiful hour. I said he might take in callers. I don't know. I asked if he would, you know, and I, I, I'll see. So that's still yet to come. But to really, really, really embrace the fact that just because you can't see something doesn't mean it's not there, doesn't mean it's not on its way to you. You know, when you have a vision, you have a dream, you know how you know it's right. Have you met those people that have had a million careers and they've gone from one thing to the next thing, to the next thing, to the next thing. They don't know where they want to go. Every time you see them, they're onto something else. That's not a passion. That's a, I'm searching, I'm lost. When you wake up and you know that no matter what comes in your way, even if it hasn't got to the point where you want it to yet, whether it's your business yet, like we were talking with Madura and Evelyn or, you know, when you get up in the morning, you know, no matter what throws you off track, you're not going to give up on your dreams and your vision. That's how you know you're in the right place. You're not just getting up for a job. You're not just going, oh, whatever. You get up and you go, it may not be where I want it to be today, but I'm going to keep going because this is right. I know this is where I'm supposed to be. And that's the drive I get every day that if you can take that energy, just say, I'm taking that energy. I'm taking all of that energy. So when you get up in the day, you're passionate, but you're excited about what you're doing. Not every day is going to be a good day. If anyone tells you that they're blowing smoke up your butt, it's not going to be a good day. You're going to have frustrations. You're going to have hurdles, but you know, you keep going because you know, it's right. You know, it makes you happy and you know, to see other people happy, that that's what you want to do. If that's part of your dream, if that's part of your vision, if you get, I have stay at home moms that love being stay at home moms. They're getting up out of bed every day and they're going, yes, this is awesome. They're in the right place. They're doing the right thing.
So it doesn't matter what it looks like, but ask yourself, thank you, God, am I getting up every day going, yes, this is, this is right. I feel it in my gut. And no matter the people are going to try to pull you off your path, the people are going to call you names, the people are going to spit in your face sometimes, the people will do this because they see you going after your dreams and your visions and you've just triggered them because they're not. And when they see you, that's okay. You keep being you. You keep going and keep showing up every day because you don't know. And that's how you know. You never give up. Remember that old saying, you're on the brink of a miracle. You never give up. And you know that miracle is going to happen and you know it's waiting for you. You just got to believe in that and see and believe in what you can't see from the unseen realm to the seen. And it will come and be grateful. Be grateful for every other little thing that starts to show in your life. And this now more than ever. That's why, like, if you can join me this Friday, the 24th, join me. Because we're going to talk a lot about this. We, none of us have been, a lot of us have not been alive. We weren't here during the last 90-year reset. But there's science behind it. There's energy behind it. There's a lot of books around it. And I want to share these with you. So you are prepared. And you're not sitting in the fear. And you're not over there with all the people that want to be in afraid and all the people that are making up whatever. You can come over here and have your dreams and your visions and the people supporting you. You can prosper. You can grow. You can find new creative solutions. It's like the way I see it right now is... When I look at the left, a lot of times the old, right? It's, it's very um, war-torn. It's very like desert. And over to the right, you see a lot of, it's like flowers. It's like field of growth. And we're going to see this not only in your life, but we're going to see this in countries around the world. As countries, you know, they're going to be filing for bankruptcy. They're going to need more help and more support as things start to change. So we don't, you have to decide, am I ready and willing right now to work through what seems like discomfort and pain, let go of perfection, let go of projecting perfection onto other people, let go of that thought form where you're like, oh, well, they're perfect. What's wrong with me? And let it go and say, I'm not going to play in the desert anymore because nothing's growing over here. And how often In our seasons, do we put our life in the desert and we wonder why we're not getting any trees because nothing grows in the desert. There's no fruit in the desert. So do you want to be in the desert or do you want to come over here where there's flowers and fruits for your labor and joy and ease and grace? With this new energy paradigm we're in right now, that energy is there. I can even, like I keep telling you guys, the manifestation, the creation off the charts I love to share what's going on in my world because you can have that and you can have the new, you know, I, it was brilliant. I, f- I finished the book. We're just waiting for a forward and then we're going to be launching it this fall. We're getting that done. And I'm already now collaborating on the second book. Like where the opportunities that you can have are endless. You need to show up. So I want to thank the hand of God that you make yourself a promise right now and say, I promise. Thank you, God, to show up in my life and to see the signs and the wonders that are waiting for me to walk through and to receive. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Okay. Have an incredible week. Make sure you're here next week, 11 a.m. Eastern time, 8 a.m. Pacific with Peter and I. We're going to have some fun. We're going to play. We've got some incredible guests coming on over the next couple of months. We'll do the call-in shows and we're going to, we're going to have our own little party right here because I think we need to have more of that energy going on as we transition together. So lots of love. Keep the smile on your face. And what are you choosing today? Have a great week, guys. Thank you for listening to the Tracy L. Clark Show with me, Tracy L., where I teach you how to connect to the God consciousness so you can unlock your superpowers and connect at light speed and live your extraordinary life. Tune in every Tuesday at 8 a.m. Pacific on Transformation Talk Radio, where together we will unlock the secrets of your body and your life. As a founder of the Body Regeneration Academy, I, Tracy L., will provide you with the insight and simple tools you can apply right now in your life to move you forward and leave the past in the dust. To join the Body Regeneration TLC Online Academy, make sure you check me out at tracylclark.com. 